In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the problems you may encounter when trying to tune the violin. And then towards the end of the video, I'll show you how to actually change your string. First things you need to make sure you've got, of course, is some spare strings. Now, these are called Dogal. I'd recommend any cheap, cheap violin strings. And then you need some kind of tuning app. Now, these are available freely now for all formats. On Android, I've chosen one called Violin Tuner, and it's by Tabs for Acoustic. And it looks like that. For iOS, I've chosen Simply Tuner. The reason I like both of these is that not only do they show you when the note is actually in tune by moving that, so you can see that arm swings on there. This one does something very similar. It will go over to show you when it's in tune. But both of that actually also play the note. Which is very handy when you're trying to tune using the peg. So you know what note you're aiming for. So that's quite handy. When you're tuning the violin, be very, very careful. It is very easy to break the string using the peg. But the problem most people encounter when they're first trying to tune using a peg is that they'll get the note in tune. So if we go to A again. And the peg slips. And it goes out of tune again, so you. And it keeps going out of tune. What's happening there is the peg is slipping back in. What you've got to try and remember is that most pegs and peg box holes aren't actually round, they're slightly oval. And what you've got is one oval is trying to fit into another oval and they will inevitably sort of try and line up all the time. You can usually overcome this just by pressing slightly harder as you turn. So you turn and you push in. So I'll just check that again, make sure I'm doing the right job. should lock. Now sometimes they can be really really stiff and you haven't got the strength to actually do it. A good way of doing it is sort of memorise where the peg's got to be to be in tune. So make a note of, make a note of where it should be and if it keeps sliding. But then when you, you know where that is you can then just hold the other side of the peg box and push and turn with a bit more force. And do be careful with that because it is very easy to overdo it and actually break the peg box. A couple of other things to be aware of. If you've accidentally knocked the violin and caught the bridge and it's been pushed over there like that, you've got to reset that. And the way you do that is support the bridge and then I use my other thumb there just to push it back. And you sight it up so you look at the gap between the edge of the fingerboard there and the G string and the edge of the fingerboard there and the E string. And you just push that back until that's central and that will recenter that. The other thing that can happen, of course, is that the bridge gets knocked sideways. And so it ends up looking something like that. And this is where your spare strings come in really handy, actually. Because what you do is you put that across there and you're trying to line it up with those little marks on the side of the F holes. Check again that you're not moving it out of that way. And then the final thing to check is that the bridge should, if anything, be leaning ever so slightly back. What you don't want is leaning forward because the angle of the strings is steeper on this side than that. So it's always being pushed forward. So you just want to lean it ever so slightly back. And you just do that by bracing with your fingers and you can just move it around the back. If it does completely come over and it really collapses, you've just got to slightly slacken all the strings and then just push it back up and just guide those strings back into the little slots. Check for the centering there, check for that across there, and then just bring it every note up. So that's the D, and then the G. It's quite quick to sort it out, it's not a big problem. If you do have to replace the string, the easiest way to hold it is to hold it between your knees and that frees both hands then to put the string on and turn the peg. What you've got to make sure is that when you put the string in, you do not overlap any of the other strings. So you need to find the hole in the peg, get that just by the side of the peg box. Guide the string into the hole, turn the peg away from you. You always tune away and then tighten it up. And once it's gone past the, uh, the cotton area there, keeping the tension on it, you can then just make sure you put the other end into the fine adjuster. And on these islands, it's very easy to slide them in like that. Keeping the tension on the string, tying it fully up with the peg, guiding it into the little slot in the top and onto the bridge there, and then... Some of the other tailpiece designs you might come across are when it's just a simple hole like this, and you have to put the string ball through that there, and then make sure that the ball comes forward in, into that slot and that will hold the string quite firmly there. They're often accompanied by this type of adjuster, which you have to fit on with this end facing the tailpiece. And you hook the string in there like that. The string's got to go into that little slot there and then round this one. And you slide that 
the best drum when the string is actually on the violin already and you slide that and that sits on top of the tailpiece like that so that's another type you may also come across this type of adjuster which is very common and the way these are supposed to work is that the string is supposed to run through that little hole there like that but you often find that the bulk of the winding there stops that going forward so the way to overcome that quite simply is to get a screwdriver and just lever that open like these have been done here you can see and that just allows the ball to be put in a lot quicker and easier and then it sits like that well that's it for this video i hope you feel confident now to go out and tune that violin properly go very very carefully good luck keep enjoying playing the violin and i look forward to seeing you next time thanks for watching